Well, there are no unbeaten teams in the NFL after the Seahawks completed a 27-24 win in overtime against the 49ers. It took us all the way till there was nothing left, and um, it was a beautiful job of hanging. Um, and what I really liked about this game was the way it started and then the surge that happened in the middle of it when our guys went eight straight drives without letting them get anything going on defense. Uh, Kenny did a fantastic job tonight with our guys. We had to adjust from right off the start, and, uh, um, and the guys took to it. We did some different things that, other than the, the plan called for. Now this game had a lot of excitement, but early on in the first quarter, well, it was all Niners. They jumped out to a 10-0 lead, but the Seahawks defense made sure that they got a lot of pressure on Jimmy Garoppolo. We felt like uh, the first drive, we were we were giving them giving them stuff. Yeah, it was penalties every time we, we kind of got off the field. It was a penalty, and it was you know it was hurting us, and so we just had to make sure you know we we locked in and, and you know just. Stop giving them stuff. It was it was picks. It was it was uh, you know a penalty here, offsides, um, you know maybe a, a, a lack of leverage or whatever. But you know once we kind of you know settled down and, and did our thing, we were good. Man, those guys up front were eating all night. Um, that's what we expect them to do each and every week. And you know those guys showed up Monday night football. They put on the show. Um, we couldn't do it without those guys. Also our linebacker stopping the run. Um, that's big. That's huge. And, um, you know, like I said, we got the momentum going into the box. So, like I said, it's all a blessing. That defense dialed up the pass rush this week. Not only did they hassle Garoppolo, but you saw Jadavian Clowney find the end zone for the second time this season. I could have did more. At the end of the day, I feel like I, I left some plays out there. I think I played a great, a good game, but it could have been better. I could have made, made some more plays for my team and try to, you know, give them more, more times with the ball, try to force some more turnovers. But, at the end of the day, like I said, man, we got five sacks, 10 QB hits, we, and we got the win. Breakout game. I, I, I just thought he was so impressive all night long. Uh, I, I don't know how, we, you know, they, they, I thought they were tackling him. He was just penetrating so fast and, and so furiously. And, and, uh, but what a fantastic game. The Seahawks offense seemed to find their stride in the third quarter. A couple of touchdowns, one to Jacob Hollister, who now has three in the last two games. It was really just like a backyard play because it was originally I had a what's called like an all day. So I'm just sitting there like waiting for the ball. I saw Russ's eyes and once he tossed it over the top, I knew I had to go get it. So that was just like a backyard play. The Hollister's been great. I mean, just the plays he's been making has been so much fun to watch and be a part of. And, um, you know, he had the overtime touchdown, you know, catch last week. He had two touchdowns last week, had one this week. Obviously, a big touchdown that we needed on the scramble, kind of scrambled around, just tried to find some time and some space and just kept moving, kept moving. and. Uh, you know, he scampered to the back of the end zone. When we hit him. He made a great catch. We knew that turnovers were going to be a huge factor in the game tonight. The Seahawks actually lose the turnover battle and allow the Niners to get back into this one in the fourth quarter. We had a terrible job taking care of the football tonight. A miserable job. I don't. I don't even recognize this when the ball's flopping around like that. Uh, we we had a lot of work to do. That we're, we're gonna. We won't win if if we keep doing this. We have to take care of the football better than that. It's a miserable night there. But but. One of the great plays of the night was Joey Hunt's fumble recovery. You guys can see, you guys don't make a big deal about that. Joey laid out, slid into it, you know, cuddled it up just the way he's supposed to. Uh, it was a huge play for us. You know, we, we, we had that one turnover today. You know, I was, you know it's, things are going to happen, but we just kept believing. I think, you know, we're just trying to be, we're trying to be precise. Every, every time you step on the field and try to be great and try to find ways to win, my job is to win. My job is to do whatever it takes to win, and uh, that's the only thing I really care about. If you thought last week's game was exciting and thought the Seahawks couldn't top it, well, think again, because for a second straight week, they had it to overtime. moving the ball really well. I think I have Hollister for a touchdown and they make a great play two inches higher. I think we have a touchdown game over. Then our defense goes out there, stops and then they miss the field goal. We get the ball back or whatever. Find a way to win. And they end there, get the big first down and move the ball. And, and uh, J-Mai comes up big with a game winning field goal. Headsets off, you know. This is it, man. Game's over. No matter what tie or win or whatever it may be. With a game on the line and just a couple of seconds on the clock, Jason Myers lined up and knocked in the game winning field goal from 42 yards out. A redemption moment for the kicker after last week. 
you know, Russ is doing his magic, and you know, I knew he'd get us in some sort of field position for a field goal. Um, you know, I didn't know what it was, but I was just prepared for, you know, when Schneids and uh, Pete looked down and said three, I was ready to go out there. The obvious is hanging with Jason Meyer. So what a, what a great, thrilling night for him uh, to, to come through and make his kicks and make his winning kick and, and, and all that and, and kick the ball deep all night long. Um, a lot goes into that, and, and uh, I think it was a, for us that, that follow us really closely, not for the, maybe the outside media, but um, it, it's a great illustration of, of the, his teammates supporting him throughout. In the locker room immediately last week, they were supporting him so that he would be ready to do this that we needed tonight and can come through. I mean, there's nothing better than coming through like that in the clutch, and, and uh, so we're, we're thrilled by the, the night that he had. The Seahawks come away with a 27-24 win. They stay perfect on the road. They improve to 8-2 on the season. And that bye week, well, it feels a whole lot better.